So I'm reading comments and YouTube trying to answer more. And I like this comment a guy made about just-in-time learning. It's a nice way of expressing uh, my methodology in terms of how to quickly become a professional developer. So let me read. I've been coding for years. I believe in just-in-time learning. For new coders, learn the basics, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, maybe. Get a job and use just-in-time learning to meet the needs of your current situation. Having a practical, real-world situation to apply your learning makes learning faster and more fun, 100%. Don't just pull a technology out of the hat, Ruby especially. Don't want to pull out the Ruby, no. And devote, uh, let, me, ooh, let me expand this a little bit. Don't pull a technology out of a hat and devote hundreds of hours learning it. You could end up running in the wrong direction between gigs, sharpen your basic skills. Exactly, this is the way you gotta go. So, people will read online on this site or that blog or this video or that video, this is the technology you gotta learn, this is the technology you gotta learn. But I've done in videos over and over and over again. Depends where you live, depends on the type of coding you wanna do. Another point, you can't really choose a bad technology to learn because even if you were uh, crazy enough to learn Ruby, you could jump over to a proper programming language at a later date. I'm just joking, Ruby's fine, Ruby's fine. So whether you learn, let's say C Sharp at first and then you find there's only jobs in Java in your area, not saying that would be the case, but just an, as an example, you can easily transition to the Java job because the principles in Java and C Sharp and JavaScript and Python and PHP and Ruby and Perl and C and C++, they're all very, very similar. They share maybe 90% of the same language concepts and constructs, if not more, 95%. So yeah, just-in-time learning, that is basically the way of software development. Professional developers, especially in the first three to four years, you're constantly learning. You're sitting down and you're looking at a project and you're saying, okay, leveraging your basic skills your, that you've developed from a decent training course, you have enough of a conceptual understanding uh, of the key techniques and principles in development that you start to implement them. One of the mistakes people make when they're trying to learn is that they want to try to understand some of these concepts, like what's a recursive method, object orientation, design patterns, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I could go on. Now, the thing is, when you're trying to learn these things, the quickest way to actually learn them conceptually, to actually deeply understand them, is actually write code that implements them. So you want to learn about recursive functions, you want to learn about object, orienta object orientation and um, how to implement ob object-oriented code properly, write the code, write the code. You don't want to get caught up, caught up in tutorial hell and you don't want to sit there trying to uh, understand a concept quickest way to understanding concepts is to write code. The quickest way to becoming a pro developer is to write code. Uh, another question that came up recently in a discussion was the uh, memorization. How important is memorization in coding? Well, it's not very important at all. It's about conceptual understanding. Being a great developer is not memorizing the syntax, the code. Being a great developer is having great conceptual knowledge. So for example, I've written tons and tons of Java code. Of any language, I've written more Java code than any language. I've written a bunch of software, commercial software, and other languages, of course. But of any single language, it's Java for me. It just happens to be, at the time in the 90s when I started writing code, Java was the hot, new, nimble language, and everybody was going into Java, so there you go. That being said, that being said, um, conceptual understanding comes from writing the code and uh, memorization of code is not that important. It will happen, by the way, as you start writing more, more and more code, you're gonna start, things will start coming to you very quickly. But when you stop writing the code for maybe six months, you're gonna start forgetting the, the specific syntax. But that's why, uh, that's why God invented code editors that complete your code for you. And now we have a new branch of code editors, uh, AI-based code, ed uh, co code completion tools, and um, again, these are just tools to help you out. Uh, so yeah, memor it's not a memorization game. Coding is not a memorization game. It's a conceptual understanding game. I hope this helps. Bye-bye.
If you want to become a pro developer in record time, I invite you to check out my mentoring program. This is the most comprehensive training program I've ever put together. It includes all the training you need in all the languages you need, and it includes private group meetings where you can ask questions. The schedule is flexible, so the program works around you and still keeps you accountable. And the great thing about the program is that you'll be learning from somebody who's been in the game since the 1990s. You're not paying 5000 10000 15000 Very easy to manage cost. If after a few months you decide it's not for you, you just have to contact me and we can stop the payments.